Red Elk has been sharing with us his experiences with the people that live under our feet underground right now and and that was what Pam was curious about how many people are living underground right now oh my gosh you know how many people are living on earth go quick run out and count them <laughs> you know I mean that's a ridiculous question but, but uh, uh, how many types is a little bit better to ask all right, how many types? I, I, I really don't know. I haven't run into all the types, but I've heard of other types that I haven't seen or talked with. But uh, oh, giants, certainly. You know, people that are, oh, my gosh, 15 foot tall is a shorty. And they're nice people, really nice people. And uh, uh, beautiful cities in these great caverns. And uh, um, I'm talking cities. I'm not talking towns. And the caverns are that great. And, uh, oh, gee, the, uh, uh, the rock swimmers that I just recently learned about here, what, about two what and a half, three and a half years ago? What are rock swimmers? They're a form of angel. And, and uh, it's quite possible for you, me, or anyone to literally walk through solid walls or solid stone. And they do that. And there is technology by uh, the alien races that they match energy and just slip right through the face of the earth and down into their bases and back up again. And uh, that that is technology. The other is is mind work. And uh, uh, but anyway, they're they're uh, you know the gnomes, the elves, the fairies. They really do exist. A few do see them. And I tell you, you have to be very childlike in heart and mind and goodness and kindness and godliness before they'll ever approach you. Now, if and yes, a... I do serve beer to the, the ten or so that show up. Yeah, night. but see, if they're childlike, why are you giving them beer? I said you had to be childlike. <laughs> you listen to what I listen to say. Don't, don't go jumping off the horse in the middle of a run. <laughs> So, so uh, is it wise to give beer to the elves? And like I said, they don't get snockered, and they enjoy their beer. They think American beer is pretty weak stuff. But, what do they like? Huh? What do they like, Heineken? I don't know. They've never asked me for a particular brand. I don't drink it. I just, if I got a feeling that they're going to show up in the next few days, I go down and I, I buy a six-pack. I don't go drink for it. an import. Hmm? You go for an import, I suppose. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Hell, I can't afford hardly a bottle, <laughs> let alone a six-pack, or import. <laughs> but uh, they're happy, you know, it's a thought that counts. And they uh, sit there with their little mugs in, in a semicircle in front of me, and we chat. Have a good time. Uh, how, do, uh, how do you make, how do you meet your basic needs then, underground? I mean, and Well, first off, the walls are lined with a form of manna and not everywhere but uh, it's almost like a, um, um, oh gee licking lick, 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 you know the, those little things on the rocks up in the Arctic oh, lichen, lichen? Yeah. lichen yeah it's like that and you can scrape it off the walls and it's very honey like tasty and uh, um where generally it's it's pretty dark in there, but every once in a while your body heat, or I, I'm not sure what happens, uh, but the wall becomes phosphorus, and you can see for a long, long time. Then it gets dark, and you have to fill with your hands around, you know, and kind of make sure your feet isn't going to fall into a hole. And you know, it's dark, but uh, and uh, when they do, uh, there are rivers and lakes down there. There's one enormous, almost a sea underneath the pyramid in Giza, and with a big island in it. And it's a, it's really a river that goes in one end, fills this huge cavern up with a sea-like area, and goes to the other. And it is called the River Sphinx. And uh, there are people on that island, and oh, they are the most fascinating sounding and beautiful people I have ever met they have a body of a man but from their their upper parts of their shoulders you know I mean across the chest and stuff 
It's feathers. It's bluebird feathers. And their heads are like a bluebird. And when they sing in unison, oh, it's unbelievable. I've never, I, and I swear to you, even the angels don't seem to outsing these people. And I've heard the angels sing, believe it. And it is just awe-inspiring. But these crazy bluebird men, I, I just I, I've never seen a woman. I, but then I, I haven't been on the island. They had to come over to me on the shore. And uh, uh, but uh, and when they talk, this is one language I can't even get mental telepathy out of. I had to have an interpreter. And they chirp and, and make thralling thr thr sounds and stuff. Ooh, really cool. And, and frankly, they want to be left alone. They, they don't want anything to do with anybody except themselves. But, uh, uh, oh, gee, uh, it, it's just a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, dinosaurs and stuff still do exist down there. Um, there are just waves and waves of tall grasses and, and weeds and stuff. I suppose, well, I know for sure some of it was deliberately placed down there by, by a race that went to war with another race. Uh, that lived below ground. Uh, the one lived above, they broke their alliance, went to war, and they went down and prepared these cities that the, the long walkers are still walking to. I think that one made it to their spot in, in South America, but I had to turn them over to the South American Hyoka, in a Hyoka, because that's not my territory. And so I, I'm not dead sure what's going on down there. Uh, the ones up here, two groups of long walkers that I know of for sure, uh, are are walking. And <laughs> the first ones that started out, I think there were 37. Uh, they're down now too. They'll end up with about 16. But uh, and no, no children, young men and young women and some elders. But I, I've never seen any children in the two or three groups that have gone down. But they're, they're all ready to have children. I mean, you know, they're, they're of the right sex and age. Right. But uh, these cities are just phenomenal. Well, the, the ones that I, the, the one that I protect, uh, they're right down in Washington State. Uh, the original long walkers headed towards that. They got within 10 miles of it. And uh, But the, the labyrinth down there is so great that they ended up in Idaho and they're working their way back, not even knowing that they were close in the first place. They should be there this year or next year.